Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have a full rundown of the very best new launches at Ulta. You're gonna see them in action. We're gonna talk about it all, the good, the bad, the ugly, the great. Let's get ready for summertime. I am in my beachy best life attire. James thinks this looks like pajamas. Am I wearing a beach shirt? Am I business casual? Is it pajamas? Leave me that in the comments below what you think. And let's dive on in to the land of beautiful things. We're going to Ulta. We're gonna start out with probably my favorite product of everything that I have bought at Ulta over the past several months. And yes, I purchased everything here myself with the exception of maybe one or two and I'll let you guys know. But this palette right here from MAC, oh my goodness. This is the Connect in Color palette and it has 12 artist curated true nudes. And this, dare I say, is better than the Naked palette, like better than the OG neutral palettes of past. This right here has everything you need to do a fantastic neutral eye, a natural day, no makeup makeup. You can put it in your brow. You can use it as liner. You can use your fingers, which I even did today. It's just classic good MAC formula. You've got a great big mirror in here, which is so handy to have. If I go anywhere this summer, I am taking this with me. This will be the palette that I travel with just because you have every flattering brown neutral in here. And the case is really just, you feel like you're safe to take it with you and you got that big mirror. So I want to go over what is on my eyes today. I'm using this top shade right here. This is, I always have like dyslexia when it comes to the shadow marking on the back. I'm like, wait, is it the one that's like right through or is it how you're looking at it? Oh, I don't know, I don't know. This right here, Wedge, which is a famous MAC shade. I used this so liberally and just kind of like zoned out and was like buffing it on the lid, getting it up into the crease. And that's the thing that I really love about MAC formulation is you can layer and build, but you don't really have to worry about fallout. You don't have to worry about patchiness. It layers and builds so seamlessly and beautifully. From there, I went into this guy at the bottom right here and just kind of put that on the outer edge. Again, this was like a three minute eye look. I then decided to go like, look a little bit darker and kind of played with this color right here. And then I did my new signature move. I don't know why I never did this before. It is the easiest thing ever. I literally go with my fingertips and a dark matte, whatever color you can do plum, you can do black, you can do brown, and I will get it on my finger. And you have to make sure you have a little bit of setting powder underneath your eye, just in case there's a little bit of fallout or fluff. With MAC shadows, they're pressed so firmly, I feel really confident to do this technique. So I go in and I literally take what is on my finger and I do my eyeliner with my finger. And I know that might sound like, what the heck? This woman has lost her mind, but it works. It is so incredibly fast. And then you can lightly, because the eye area is very delicate, so let's not like get aggressive, but you can kind of just blend it out. Put on your mascara, you're good. I just, I really love doing that and it gives like such a nice smoky look to the lid. So from there, what I do is I take my pointer finger that is clean and I'll kind of extend what I've placed on the lash line into the inner corner. I don't take my finger with the dark brown all the way in the inner corner. That's a hot mess, don't do it. But this is very much a finger paint palette. I then went into this lovely shade right here. Let's just add a little more because why not? It's just so satisfying. I love shimmery, shiny everything. This is a good one. Beautiful neutral tones, super flattering, A++++. I love it. From there, we're gonna kind of bop over to some skincare. I have two skincare items that I am so excited to share with you guys. One is from Osea, and this is totally a TikTok made me do it. 
because I saw so many people being like, I'm not gatekeeping. I'm going to tell you how I get my glow. And if anyone has anything to say about glow, I'm just like, tell me more. This one is called the Glisten and Glow. They have an oil and they have different body butters and a bunch of different products. And I was kind of testing them all in the store. This one is my favorite. It doesn't look like a lotion. It's a gel lotion, but when you spread it out on the skin, can you see how high shine this is? It goes into an oil so beautifully and hydrates you. And the scent is phenomenal. It is like you are at a spa and it sinks in and gives you that radiant look to the skin without being crazy sticky. You are going to feel it. It's a little bit oily because hello, it is an oil technically. I'm just like, let me just like rub it on my legs right now. You can't see, but my knees are glistening now. I normally am not wearing long sleeve shirts and I normally would be like, look at this. Here's my leg. I just shaved. I'm feeling on top of the world. So yeah. Ooh, we are ready for short season. The skin is hydrated, glistening, glowing. I love the ingredients and I love that it comes in a glass bottle as well. Love that. Osea gets an A plus from me. I will be exploring more of their line soon. So then from there, I have another oil because you guys know I wanna dunk myself in hydration. I love a multi-purpose oil. I love using an oil as a very last step in my skincare. I like taking the excess on my elbows, my cuticles. I will sometimes eat even just really make sure I get focused on the chest. If you're doing lymphatic drainage, it's great to use an oil so that you're not tugging at the skin. And my favorite right now is the Pure Radiance Oil from True Botanicals. This is great. If you are looking for something that has incredible ingredients and is very pure, this is very potent in my opinion. It hydrates, but it sinks in so fast so I don't feel like my pillowcase is getting it when I climb into bed. And I just started using this a couple weeks ago, maybe like two weeks ago, and I'm really, really loving it. A little bit goes a long way. I've been using this at night as my last step, and I am thoroughly impressed with everything. Nice glass bottle here. I love how it makes my skin feel. It is lightly aromatic without setting me off in the you know crazy sneezing, nose running fragrance department. You guys know I'm very picky with fragrance. And this has just been a really nice end of the evening, final step in my skincare routine, or I love using this when I'm doing a lymphatic drainage massage. And they have a whole big line at Ulta now as well. Okay, resist the urge to play with your hair. Now that I have like all this oil on me, oh gosh. <laughs> oh, okay, we're just, we're gonna get through this. Oh, that soda's making my eyes water. Oh my gosh. Woo! I'm getting my probiotics in because many of you know, I was just on antibiotics and like losing my mind. Uh, this is the Culture Pop Soda. Watermelon and lime is the flavor to get. It's delicious. Moving on, let's talk about lips. I love a good, glossy, gleaming, glistening lip right now. Even if I'm not wearing any makeup, I still just like a little bit of something to make me feel juiced up and more alive. And Stila just came out with these stunning lip oil gel gloss glittery situations. What are you even called? So it's literally called a gel lip oil, slam dunk, I nailed that. I have the shades Galaxy and Supernova. I want to get the other shades now that I've tested this out. I purchased these maybe a week ago. These are brand new and they are so pretty. I wanna show you what they look like on. I prefer Galaxy over Supernova, but they're both really pretty. Let me put on just like a little bit more of Galaxy. It's just syrupy and oily in the best way. Smells like a combo of MAC lipstick and Lorac bombshell glosses. You basically are gonna wanna eat it. <laughs> it's so good, it's so good. And the glimmeriness is so subtle, but it totally does that ch -ch -ch where it catches light. I am obsessed. I have another lip item because more is more. This, you guys, this is bringing me back to middle school. 
This is bringing childhood nostalgia feels to me. The texture, the scent, the application. I can kind of zone out and do that chapstick thing or you know what I'm saying? Where you're like, this just feels good. This is so cool. This is from Buxom. This is the Summer Babe Plumping Lip Oil. So you can use this on its own, absolutely. It looks good, it feels good. But if you wanna get a little zhuzh on the lips, you want them to be a little bit bigger, this will definitely increase circulation in the lip and spice things up and get your lips looking prepped and right for another product on top. So I kind of look at this as an on-the-go item just to be kind of natural and shiny and it's like summery and effortless. You don't need a mirror to put it on. But if you're being a little bit more intricate, this works great as a base too. I can't stop. What? I just, oh, I just. If I open a lip product, I'm putting it on and it's kind of a problem, especially when I'm cleaning back here. Like you guys don't see it, but literally I'm doing the hundred layer makeup challenge alone in this room. No one's here to see it, but I will be like, do I want to keep this there or something? And I will just, just this. And even with the face, like I just love putting on makeup. Ooh, let's talk about another item from Buxom really quick. This Summer Babe Glow Stick is so beautiful. The packaging um, that it comes in, like the whole bronzy theme is just really putting me in the mood for summer. This right here on the eyes is fabulous. It is so insanely creamy and just gives you that like glisteny, effortless thing on the eyes. I like to take my pinky and actually go boop, 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 like I'm highlight Rudolph, the beamed nose reindeer, something like that, you know what I'm saying? And if you just take your pinky with just a little dab will do you, you have control to do the perfect nose highlight. Take it on the Cupid's bow. I really like to use my fingertips. If I'm going to be highlighting the cheeks with a cream like this, I will take my middle finger and pat, 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 pat. I'm already wearing so much highlight, so she is resisting the urge. Okay, so that one is smash hit. I'm loving what I have been buying recently. I like, I'm really into it so much that I look forward to playing with my makeup, even though it's kind of the same products that I've been reaching for quite a bit over and over. Speaking of which, I am giving a double shout out just so you can see it applied on both eyes and so you know what's on my lashes right now. This is so perfect for summertime. This is from Neutrogena, the Hydro Boost Plumping Mascara and Waterproof. It has hyaluronic acid in it. I don't know why we need that, but apparently it's a call out, it's good. It has a pine cone shape, really great to pump up those lower lashes and give you that like baby doll kind of a spiky look if you're into that. I'm kind of into that, I kind of like it. It layers up really, really beautifully. And I said this in my last video, if you wanna see other drugstore hidden gems that maybe I shouldn't be sharing with the world, but like the ones that will take you to the next level, I will link that video in the description box. I did mention this and I can't say enough. I'm kind of frightened looking down at it right now. It says caution is flammable. Why are you flammable? That's alarming. It's not terrible to take off either, even though it's waterproof. It can get a little bit sticky, like your lower lashes if you have too much on and you're expressive like me and you're like, you know, do I do that a lot? Apparently I do because my lashes kind of stick together, like you can feel, that's the only drawback. I'm not trying to not sell you on it, I'm just being honest. But if you are at Ulta, do yourself a favor, pick this mascara up. It deserves more attention, it is so ridiculously good. I haven't been so excited about a mascara since Lash Paradise. I said that about the new Maybelline one too. I like them both. Um, but this one, oh my gosh, like I can't stop using it. It is so good. While we're still on the eyes, we're gonna talk a little liner. Lancome came out with beautiful liners. They have a gorgeous longer tip, longer felt tip, where you can literally, after you put on your makeup, if you're like, hey, you know, I'm kind of in the mood for more, you can actually go in and go on the side and pull and the felt, however they did the felt, it just literally is perfection. It's not gloppy, it holds on to the saturation of color without getting everywhere, it doesn't bleed. 
And I have been loving these. Look at that one right there. It is really dark, but it definitely still sets off your eyes with that flattering kind of chocolate type of a tone. This is called Matte Syrup Brown. I also super love this shade. Oh wow, I have two matte syrup. I love matte syrup brown. That is what we are into. I love it. Um, I will say there is a gift set where you get a mascara with this. That mascara is not as good as this one. It's pretty good, but it's not as good. Okay, moving on to, we're kind of here, there, everywhere. This is actually one of the items that I don't like. I like this underneath the eyes just fine, but I have a few complaints. It's just not giving me as much as the NYX one that I just talked about. Go watch that video. I talk about all of the hidden gems of the drugstore. That concealer, like, I literally was texting my sister about it and sending her video of me using it to encourage her to go and buy it. I never do that. I never do that. So that one is just like on a whole different level and it's not expensive, which is now gonna make me really impossible to please with more expensive concealers. Do we see the dilemma? All right, so IT Cosmetics. Tell me guys, are you loving it? Do you like it on the face? I didn't think it covered enough. I love that it has niacinamide in it. It does have caffeine, which is great underneath the eye to kind of tighten you up a little bit um, and depuff. So I do like it underneath the eye better than on the face, but with the name, it's called Bye Bye Dark Spots. You would think that this would be better on the face and it just doesn't give enough coverage. And I don't really like the brush on the top. And I love IT Cosmetics. And I will probably give this to my mom and she will probably love it because she is obsessed with IT Cosmetics everything. So mom, I will be giving those to you and you can give me your review. Uh, we're gonna move on and talk about Tarte. These new Tarte Shape Tape, Blush Tape, we got Sculpt Tape, we got Glow Tape. Um, So I don't like two of them. I like one. I just don't like the formula. I don't like that you have to kind of aggressively blend pretty quickly if you want it to look seamless. And I, with liquids, want them to look seamless. I love Danessa Myricks so much for her cream contours, any of her cream products. Really love RCMA. I have been hard pressed to enjoy one of these. I want to because I feel like, hey guys, I wanna be a part of the cool kids club, but if I pull it back and go, yo, this just is not looking good on me and I don't know that these work for everyone, it's just, it didn't work for me. It was too hard to blend and Oh, no wonder I got deep bronze. Maybe I got the wrong shade. I probably should have gotten a lighter shade. I'm just realizing this. But I just feel like you get way too much coming out of here and you're boom, 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 and you try to blend it. And like for me, it doesn't want to blend. Does anyone know what I'm doing wrong? Let me know. The blush is really pretty if you like a high shine blush. I don't. I actually don't want my blush to be as shimmery and reflective as this is. I love cream blushes, but I want them to have a putty texture where I can control the creaminess and the sheen. I don't want my pores exaggerated. I don't want light bouncing off areas that I don't want it to bounce off of. And I just feel like with these, they're just harder to control for some reason. I don't know. It just, I couldn't get it to work. However, the highlighter, dang, the highlighter. Let's talk about it. My goodness, this beams on the skin in the exact way you want a highlighter to beam on the skin. Apply it with a beauty blender or a sponge of your choice. Soak it up. Like after you've done your foundation, we all know we wanna be wetting these sponges. Make sure that the sponge still has a little bit of dampness to it. And that way, when you are going on top of whatever your makeup situation is, it just kind of drenches into the skin and I feel helps the blend look so much better. I'm obsessed. Tarte did a great job with this guy right here. I would not go straight out the tube, just sane. But when you take the moment to put it on a sponge, it just makes the skin look like you naturally somehow flipped a switch on the inside and you have skin 
that has like built-in highlight. That's the best way I can describe it because it's not like this icicle, crazy, glimmery, powdery, kind of sometimes can be dusty highlight. It's like this gooey, melty, like how did her skin get that way? Like that's what it looks like in real life. So this is a real life approved highlighter. I love it. And I'm gonna try to like the blush. I might try this again. The contour, I'm just stuck in my ways, I think. I try to branch out and I'm just like, nope, we're not doing it. Uh, okay, so was that it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> I always say that I'm gonna do 10 and then I do more because I just like chatting with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed and ring the bell before you leave. I'm here twice a week and I would love it if you would come back and hang out with me again. And other than that, go have a good one, you guys. I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.